Bonjour, today's lesson is all about understanding the difference between don and en in French. So let's do some practice on those two words. Now remember that you have access to the support guide if you are a member. So click on the join button below to see what we offer. You get to see me live as well. Let's have a look at the difference between en and don't because it's a question that is often asked by uh, my learners okay let's have a look at don't now don't is a preposition okay we know that okay and it means in now picture don't as being a more concrete preposition that on on is less concrete if that means if uh, if you know what i mean anyway so don't is a preposition which means in Now, it is often used to express a place. For example, il est dans la cuisine, so physically in the kitchen. Je suis dans la salle à manger, so I am in the living room. Le chat est dans le lit, the cat is inside the bed, so dans means in, inside, okay? But it can also be used to express the notion of time. And I'm going to underline time for you, for you to know that. Because it can indicate what will happen. Il arrivera dans cinq minutes, for example. He will arrive in five minutes. So it's a notion of what's going to happen. Give me a time. In five minutes, I'm going to eat. For example, dans cinq minutes, je vais manger. Ou nous repartirons en Afrique dans deux mois. We'll go back to Africa in two months. Okay, so notion of time here. What's going to happen in what period? Okay, of time. It can as well be used to express a manner. In a compounded words such as dans ces conditions-là. Dans ces conditions-là, in these conditions, okay, ce n'est pas possible. This is not possible. Dans ces conditions-là, okay. So, dans is quite a concrete uh, word. That it means in, okay, in, okay. But let's have a look at the difference between dans and en. So, en is also a preposition, but can be translated as in as well as dans, okay, by to or on and this is when you guys uh, have uh, are confused about when to use dans and when to use on because they both mean in okay now let's have a look at on and its different purpose it can be used when depicting a situation without article for example je suis en vacances so i am on holiday okay there is no article before that je suis En les vacances, you don't say that. So, je suis en vacances. Je suis en quatrième. I am in fourth grade. In fourth grade. In this case, it means in. Je suis en route. I am on my way, on the road. Okay. But here, it doesn't have an article after that. You would not say en la, en le, en de. It doesn't exist. Okay, so that depicts a situation without article. I am on holiday, I am in the, in the road, uh, not in the road, I am in fourth grade, and so on. Now, on can also be used, and you may know it for that, actually, to uh, to refer to locations, okay? So, en face de, okay, in front of, en ce moment, at that moment, en une fois, once, okay, in one go, that means, okay, so as in the location, en face de, you may have heard of that, okay, that means in front of, so it refers to uh, often and is often attached to a compounded uh, set of words, okay, so, but en is used in front of countries, so again, location, but it's different. Countries that are feminine. And yes, we have countries that are feminine and countries that are masculine. That's another lesson completely. If you're not aware of this, please have a look at my lessons on prepositions for countries. Okay. Now, it is used in front of countries, okay, which are in the feminine form or start with a vowel. For example, je vais en Italie. Okay, I am going to Italy. In that respect, en means to. Il va en France. 
is going to France. Je suis en Bourgogne. I am in Burgundy. So here it refers to two things. Feminine countries, but regions as well. Okay, if you talk about uh, la région de la Picardie, for example, je suis en Picardie, je suis en Bourgogne. So these are regions, but je vais en Italie, je vais en France, je vais en Angleterre, etc. Now, en can be used to refer to seasons or months. Okay, je vais généralement en France, so here as a uh, uh, feminine country, en été. Okay, so both. We've used here two, uh, two ans, and they uh, reflect two different things. So I'm going to France in the summer, usually. Okay, so here it means to, and it means in. Je préfère voyager en septembre. I prefer to travel in September. Okay, can you see the diversity of en? And I truly sympathize with you and how difficult it is to grasp this concept. So, like don, it can refer to the notion of time too. And this is where it becomes quite complex. Do you remember that I said don refers to the notion of time when talking about a future, what will happen? For example, I will be coming in five minutes. Je vais arriver dans cinq minutes. Here, en reflects the time as well. But it indicates how long things takes. Je suis arrivé en cinq minutes. I arrived in five minutes. So in effect, it's no longer what happened in the future, but how long it took me. Okay. It took me all this time. Okay. Okay. So je suis arrivé en cinq minutes. Okay. So have a look at this. Dans and en. And to finish, it can be used before a mode of transport. So en en avion, by plane, en train, by train, en vélo, etc., etc. So, je vais à euh, Londres en train. I'm going to London by train, ok? Je vais en France en train. I'm going to France by train, ok? I said à Londres because to refer to town, you don't say en, oh, you say à. But to your country, feminine country, you say en. Ah! Now I get that completely how difficult it is. So, to recap, dans is used to talk about a location, okay, and to refer to what's going to happen in time, okay, and en is used for more abstract ideas. So, like I say, transport, okay, or going to a country, or en face de, or location, you know, as in where things are, okay. And also, what did I say as well? Uh, time as well, as in how long did it take you? I did that in five minutes. Je l'ai fait en cinq minutes. Okay. Now we've covered that and that was a very quick lesson. Of course, there is more lessons in, uh, in the course, okay, that we produce if you want to know more. But, en ou dans? Let's have a look at some examples. Je suis, and then we need to know, is it en? Or is it dans? Je suis something, la voiture de ma sœur. Okay, what you need to see here is what comes after the word en or dans. Well, there is an article. And we know that for en, there is no article because we put en, like en vacances, on holiday, without an article. I did say there is no le or la after en. So it has to be, well done, dans. Je suis dans la voiture. I am in the car of my sister. Je suis dans la voiture de ma sœur. Quite simply. Can you see that? Okay, fine. Now, j'habite, and then, en ou dans Angleterre. Okay, now, you've got to understand what Angleterre is in order to guess whether it's en ou dans. Angleterre is England. It's a country. So, what did I say? That we use en. Well done when using a feminine country. So, j'habite en Angleterre. I live in England. Okay. Uh, j'habite dans Angleterre. You can't say that. There is no article after dans. Okay. Here, there is no article. So, therefore, you put en. Okay. If you see what I mean, dans has to come with an article in this case. Okay. In every case, 
Yes, I think, except for time, of course. Now, Tom va, and then something vacances, and then something Normandie. So, Tom goes. Tom goes. Vacances is holiday. It doesn't come with an article before. So, therefore, it has to be en. Tom va en vacances. He's going on holidays, okay? And he's going to Normandie. So, Normandie is a region. So, therefore, it's going to be en, okay? Because we said that en refers to region and feminine countries. So, Tom va en vacances en Normandie, okay? Let's have a look at the next one. Il a mangé dix minutes. Now, we have a time here, okay? That could be both en and dans. En dix minutes, dans dix minutes. But it means two different things. Saying en dix minutes, that means these things happen um, uh, in a space of ten minutes, as in it, it's the time lies was ten minutes, or dans dix minutes, that means something is going to happen in ten minutes. But which is it? What you need to look at is what comes before. Il a mangé. And what tense is that? He has eaten. Now, the fact that it is in the passé composé, and I write passé composé, you can see it is composed of the auxiliary avoir and manger par participle, means that we need to use en. Okay? Il a mangé en dix minutes refers to the past tense and refers to how long he ate for. Do you see that? So, il a mangé en dix minutes. He has eaten in ten minutes. So, in the space of ten minutes, very quickly, he's eaten so quickly. En dix minutes. Okay, let's have a look at the last one. And there are more in your support, guys, for you to practice as well. La lettre arrivera trois jours. Okay, now trois jours is three days. We have here a reference, okay? We are referring to a time. So, it could be dans trois jours, it could be en trois jours. But what we need to look at is what comes before. La lettre is the letter. Arrivera is arrive. But what tense is arrivé, okay, put into? Is it in the past tense? Well, it's not. And I know that because I know how to conjugate my my verb in certain tenses, of course. But ra gives it away. Okay? La lettre arrive ra, the fact that it's a at the end of the verb means it is a future tense. Okay? If you're not familiar with the future tense ending, please have a look at my many lessons on future tense. And the practice, practice uh, your French future tense are quite useful. So, because it's in the future tense, we are not going to use en. We are going to use dans. So, la lettre arrivera dans trois jours. The letter will arrive in three days. Okay, that's it for me. Remember, there are more examples on the support guides. How do you get the support guides and the live lessons and everything? Just by clicking on the join button below. And you have access to everything. Well, all the support guys that I post on YouTube. That's it for me. Au revoir, à bientôt. Bisous, bisous. Salut.